Weightless Sanko, that's what we're talking about today. Not a huge fish, but where do you think the big fish come from? Let's talk about it, Weightless Sankos. Hey folks, Glenn May here with BassResource.com. Today I want to talk to you about fishing a Weightless Sanko. This is what we're talking about right here, Weightless Sanko. Now, if you're not sure how to rig it this way, I've got a video on that. That's there's, It's linked underneath this video that shows you how to rig it this way. But basically I want to take you through the gear that we use and then how to fish it. To start with, we've got a three-out hook. This is a five-inch Senko, so we're using a three-out hook on it. It's an extra, extra wide gap hook. It's not any special kind of hook. It's not a, a flipping hook or a super line hook. It's just your standard wired thickness hook. Um, and it's also obviously not a finesse hook, so not a, not a real thin wire hook either. It's just a standard hook size. And I have that paired with 15-pound fluorocarbon line. And there's a distinct reason why I use fluorocarbon line, not, not monofilament, copolymer, or braid. Fluorocarbon, it'll sink a little bit. And that sink rate, it won't inhibit this lure as it falls. You want it to fall straight down and it kind of undulates as it falls. So this line is not going to impede that action. It's going to fall with it. If I'm using braid, braid has a tendency to be buoyant. And sometimes if you may have had this happen to you using braid or, or monofilament or copolymer line, you throw it out there and the, the bait will do this. It'll actually float away from you at an angle or it'll fall at an angle. You've probably seen this a time or two. And that's because those lines are a little bit more buoyant than fluorocarbon. So when I use fluorocarbon, that's the reason why I don't want to impede the action or change the action of the bait. That's, that's the exact reason why. Fluorocarbon also is, you know, it's real sensitive and since we're fishing this, weightless, you're fishing it on a slack line, any little bit of sensitivity that you can gain, the better. So, fluorocarbon. And I'm fishing it on a medium action rod with an extra fast tip. So, not a medium heavy or heavy action rod, but medium heavy or medium rod with an extra fast tip. That helps, the fast tip aids in throwing this bait out there. It's a real light weight, so uh, you need that tip to toss it out there. Again, bait casting rod. That's the standard gear. And of course you can use sp uh, spinning if you want. That's no nothing wrong with that. Use an eight pound test, 10 pound test line. I tend to throw the bait around heavy cover and around bushes and thick weeds. So I'm using the 15 pound, that's why I do that. But if you're in open water, fish in rocky areas where there isn't a whole lot of vegetation or something where the fish can wrap you up, then by all means, go with eight pound test, six pound test if you want. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just telling you the way that I do it. Okay, so that's the gear. That's what, how I use it. Now let's go out and fish it. Okay, so one of the basic ways and the most effective ways to fish the Sanko is simply just cast it out there, engage the reel, and then let it sink. <laughs> let it do its thing. The Sanko flutters and moves and wiggles. The key thing is when, when it's falling like that, you want to watch the bait. You want to watch the line especially. Watch that line, see if it twitches, jumps, flicks, does anything odd, because that's usually the fish grabbing it. So pay close attention to that. If you see that, then of course set the hook. Once it hits the bottom, all you're going to do is just lift it up with your rod tip and let it fall again on slack line. Reel up some of that slack until it's just about to, just about have the fish, but uh, have the bait, but you don't want to move the bait with your reel. You just want it to fall straight down. And, and that's the enticing. It does the work for you. You don't have to do anything. Let it fall. Again, now my, my line is slack, so I know that it's at the bottom. I'm just going to reel it right back up again. All I'm doing here, I'm fishing an area that's got some rocks in here and some scattered weeds, and the fish are out here roaming in it. And that's a perfect way to fish this bait. 
And that is how I do it 90% of the time. And how much anybody, anybody does it, really. You just cast it out and let it fall. A lot of times those, those bites occur on the fall, on that slack line, and that's the hard part is detecting that bite. So pay real close attention to that line. If you, if you don't and the fish grabs it, then by the time you realize there's a fish there and you set the hook, you might gut hook fish them. It's real easy to do that with this bait, so pay close attention to that line. I'm going to show you one other way to retrieve it. Once you've cast it out there, now what you want to do is kind of bring the rod tip down, just kind of twitch it, and just twitch it back to the boat. And you can do this at any speed. Here I'm doing it on a moderate, you know, twitching, just like a jerk bait. But one, one other way to do it is you can do it really fast. You can do it slow, you do it really fast, you can make it look like a bait fish just kind of skittering across the surface. Just pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, pop it, and reel it in as you do it. And it, and it looks just like a little bait fish that's trying to get away from something. And a lot of times, especially when the fish are feeding on, on schooling bait fish, you can throw right into them and, and pop it like this and you can catch a lot of fish doing it this way. Okay, very straightforward way of uh, fishing it. One other method I want to show you here, you cast it out, let it sink, and once it hits the bottom, all you want to do is drag it on the bottom. And here you're trying to imitate some kind of a bait fish, say a sculpin or something like that, feeding off the bottom. And in that case, you just want to move it with a rod tip. I like to move it to the side. Some people like to lift up on it, but I don't want to lift it up off the, off the bottom here. I just want to drag it along. Just move the rod tip and then reel up the slack. And that's all there is to it. Straightforward Sanko fishing. If you fish it like this, you're going to have a whole heck of a lot of fun. For more tips and tricks like this, visit BassResource.com. Hey, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. And if you want to watch more videos like this, click one of the images on your screen right now. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.